Welcome back, Jim. Beer to you with another Fresh Hot Beer Review coming at you today. And uh, as always, if you like what we're doing and you want to see more of it, please click downstairs there, hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell to make sure you get notified of any new content as we publish. So what are we doing today? Well, today, sports fans, is from another one from Oscar Blues, the Mama's Little Yellow Pills. So, all right, before you run scared, yes, it's a Pilsner. Yes, there can be good craft beer Pilsners. It's, it, it's, it's okay. Don't run away terrified. Okay, good. So what is this one? This one is a Pilsner, which is a Czech style lager beer. And it's sort of had its reputation somewhat sullied by the fact that it is synonymous with the big bads, you know, the big, the Budweiser's, the Coors, the Miller's. But this isn't that. This guy here is uh, a 4.7% uh, ABV. We'll get the stats out of the way now. 4.7% ABV. 27 IBUs, but this guy is actually going to be an actual Pilsner. So as I mean, according to their website, this guy does not use corn, Miller Coors, or rice, Budweiser. This one uh, uses nothing more than pale malt and some honey malt and Pilsner malt to uh, build the flavor profile. And that is, uh, that's kind of important. This is a traditional beer, traditionally made, traditional within traditional ingredients. And I can say traditional one more time in a sentence. Traditional. And uh, Saz, S-A-A-Z, which is a very uh, historically used European hop varietal used to make Pilsners. So enough yakking, yellow can, let's get it out of the can, into the glass, and see what we're dealing with. So. So this is the little yellow pills. All right, so right away, awesome golden color. It looks like a Pilsner. It absolutely looks like what you'd expect from any kind of summertime lawnmower beer Pilsner. But let's uh, take a sniff. And that, aha, that is where the similarities end. This one has a very rich, almost, almost floral aroma on, on the nose plus a little tinge of hops and then a good malt malt finish, but it has an aroma. So right off the bat, it's putting itself head and shoulders above some of the competition out there. It smells like something. It's got a rich, it, it's complex. I hate to use that word, but it's complex. Yeah, definitely a little bit of a, a almost a floral, almost honey note on the nose. But uh, enough uh, enough chat, let's, let's see what we got. Cheers. Yum. Okay, so right off the bat, this is more flavorful than what you're expecting from a Pilsner. Is it refreshing? Absolutely. It's very crushable. I like it. It's uh, It's got a nice crisp bitterness from the hop, so proves that IBUs aren't everything because it's only 27 IBUs, but there's a nice like crisp bittering, bittering hop note to it. A little bit of that, just that honey kind of floral taste on the, on the palate as well. And then a very nice, clean malt finish. Clean and crisp. Those are the things that come to mind with this one. It's a little more complex on the nose. It's actually not as complex on the taste, but certainly more, more flavorful than some of the industrial light lagers you may be used to out in the world for Pilsners. This one is definitely a little bit more, uh, a little bit more flavor. Good finish, but definitely does not. It's not cloying. It doesn't hang on the hang on the palate too long. Super refreshing. They they use the term crushable multiple times in their uh, advertising, and this is probably one of those beers that you would absolutely want. I mean, four point seven percent, so it's not going to get you in trouble. This is not uh, face down on a rice paddy kind of kind of beer, but absolutely very refreshing. This is summertime in a, in a can. So, is it the best Pilsner I've ever had in my life? Um, no. Is it head and shoulders better than the commercial, the big, uh, the huge industrial macro Budweiser, Coors, Miller Pilsners? 100% better. Absolutely. This is a real beer made with real ingredients, and it just tastes good. So, 3.5 out of Vive on Untapped, and to a certain extent, I think some of that might be just anti-Pilsner bias. 
<laughs> people people tend to want what's hot. I mean, I look at through my views. Anytime I publish a high alcohol, high ABV, high IBU IPA, numbers go up. If I publish something uh, not that, numbers go down. So there might be a bias against pilsners, but there shouldn't be. Come summertime, you, you probably don't want to be hammering down that Russian Imperial Stout when it's 90 degrees out and you just finish some yard work. This, you probably do. <clears throat> so what do I have for it? In the magical rate meter I'm gonna give this guy seven and a half out of ten. That's my uh, that's my rating on it. I've had a couple of better craft pilsners, but not many, and this is absolutely worth trying. If you see it in the store, and they're nationally distributed Oscar Blues, pick it up, get a sixer for the summertime, throw it in your backpack when you go on a hike. You will not be disappointed. So that's it, Oscar Blues, Mama's Little Yellow Pills, clever name, Pilsner, seven and a half beer. Check it out. We're done. Like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Comment down below if you think I'm uh, completely out to lunch on this or you have any suggestions for things you want me to take a look at, and I will absolutely read them. Uh, until next time, though, dear friends, beer nerds of the world unite. Keep looking out for the good stuff. Cheers.